Now let's go to guided practice uh, three. Given this uh, function, write down the equation of a vertical asymptote line. So we have to change into positive exponents form. After we change into f of x equals x squared minus 3 over x. So the vertical asymptote line, you make denominator equal 0, x equals to 0. Then find the derivative of f of x. For f prime of x equals x squared, we do derivative minus 3x to the negative first power, we do derivative. Then f prime of x equals drop down minus 1, that's the power rule of uh, derivative, you get a 2x plus uh, 3 over x squared, because you drop down, get a negative 1 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 3. Then negative 1 minus 1 is uh, x to the negative second power, so we get the x uh, squared. For the for c, using graphing calculator or otherwise, Write on the coordinates of any points where the graph of y equals f of x has a zero gradient. So we put uh, this uh, f of x into y1. And uh, I want the window is uh, standard. So I do the zoom 6, go to standard. This is my graph uh, look like. And uh, I don't know, this one, it will be the stationary inflection or not. So I go to y equals, let's check uh, y2, I graph y2. y2 is a derivative, so let's check uh, at uh, how many points the first uh, derivative equal to zero. Only one point. Therefore, we just uh, go back to y1 and uh, get uh, this uh, minimum of points. But remember, you always uh, not highlight this y2 so that you only graph y1. This will be the minimum point only. There's no stationary inflection or maximum points. So we do second trace, go to minimum. This part is a, like a negative three. So I put the negative three, that will be the left bound. Right bound, I move the arrow. Yeah, that's enough. So I put the enter. This will be the minimum point. For the 4C, we know the minimum value we will be negative 1.14 and a 3.93. Then for 4D, write down all intervals in the given domain for which f of x is increasing. We could see from uh, this uh, minimum point, then it's uh, increasing here. Therefore, we can write down the interval negative 1.14 to zero. Remember, this must be open parentheses. Zero is not uh, in the domain. Then from here, it's uh, increasing. So we do the zero to infinity. This interval, also the function is increasing. So we have two intervals in which the function f of x is uh, increasing. Let's go to guided practice four, five A. A football is kicked from a point A, A0. A is between zero to 10. On the ground towards a goal to the right of A. The ball follows a path that can be modeled by part of the graph. Y equals, this is a quadratic function. Y greater than equal to zero. X is the horizontal distance of the ball from the origin. Y is the height above the ground. Both X and Y are measured in meters. Using your graphic display calculator, 
or otherwise find the value of uh, a. First of all, we will put uh, this function into y1, then change the window. For the window part, even this a we know is between 0 to 10, but we know this is a quadratic function. When you sketch the graph, make sure you can see the maximum point because this uh, quadratic function is up and down on the graph. Therefore, for the x maximum, let's do 30. This is a 3. Just to check the graph. If it's not good, we can still go back to change. So look at the graph. We are not sure we see this uh, maximum, so we need to change the window again. What about this is a 50? Here is a 5. Then graph. It's still not good. I need this uh, graph in, uh, on the x axis, so we do the window again. Now let's go to like uh, 80. Then this will be 8. Graph. Yeah, this is a good one. After we get uh, this graph, we're looking for this uh, A0. So we go to second trace, 0. For the left bound, you can put uh, 0, enter. Then right bound, you can put uh, move over here yeah that's here so enter then enter you will get uh, 5.30 that will be the a let's go to 5b we need to figure out dy by dx using the power rule of a derivative you will get a negative 0 0.042x plus 1.245 for 5c, use your answer to part b to calculate the horizontal distance the ball has traveled from a when its height is a maximum point. You can use this dy by dx, or you can just figure out the maximum from the original function. I just using the original function like y1 over here, I do second trace 4, then I do left bound, it will be where is it? I couldn't say, oh yeah it's over here, so I do the enter, then right bound It's a enter, then enter. So your maximum point uh, is a twelve point uh, four, and the x equals twenty nine point uh, six. But if you looking for the distance the uh, the ball has traveled from a when its height is maximum. You have to use uh, 29.6 minus, uh, this is a starting point, that's a 5.30, that equals uh, 24.3 meters. Then from this, we already figure out the maximum vertical height uh, reached by football will be 12.4 meters. For 5D, Draw a graph showing the path of the football from the point where it's kicked to the point where it hits the ground again. Use one centimeter to represent five meters on the horizontal axis and one centimeter to represent two meters on the vertical scale. We already figure out the first x-intercept, then we figure out the second 
x-intercept will be 54.0. Then we will use uh, these uh, three points. We got the maximum points already. Then we just uh, smoothly connect these three points into the parabola pattern. And uh, remember, we always reward one point for correct window, one point for correct shape, one point for stationary points, that means this is a maximum. One point for intercepts, so these two, that's a x intercepts. There is no y intercept for this graph. For 5E, the goal posts are 35 meters from the point where the ball is kicked. At what height does the ball pass over? the goal posts. First of all, we need to figure out the x equals. The x equals 35 plus 5.30. That will be the x. That's 40.3. Then we go to trees. And uh, we put in the 40.3. Put the enter. They give you y equals 10.1, that will be the height.